Hello everyone, my name is Monica Gleberman, and you're listening to Silence On Set Podcast. On today's podcast, we're joined by the two main cast members of the new movie, Pray for the Devil. The film is about the Roman Catholic Church that has to combat a global rise in demonic possessions by reopening schools to train priests to perform exorcisms. Although nuns are forbidden to perform this ritual, a professor recognizes Sister Anne's gifts and agrees to train her. And thus, the story begins. So to talk about their characters, here's Jackie Byers and Christian Navarro. I'm so excited to speak with you guys. So I watched the movie. I love it. Thank you. I'm so excited. So I'm just going to jump in because we're limited on time. But I wanted to ask you guys, first off, what made you both want to basically play a sister? <laughs> <laughs> sister and one plays a father. What like intrigued you into these roles of these characters? Because they are so much more than that as you watch the film. Yeah, well, I think... In terms of storytelling, I love that there's two conflicts that she's up against. She's up she's up against the patriarchy of the church and she's also fighting demons. So I think in terms of like the whole grand story, that just it's something new and I think creates so much conflict, which is needed to make a great film. Um, in terms of playing the character, she's uh, she's flawed, which I think is interesting. I think being a mid twenties, dealing with ego. And being really sure of yourself is something that I know a little bit about. Um, And then just, I had a lot of questions that I thought could be answered through the process, which are slightly answered now. You know, maybe a second movie might help me answer more. I thought, I I thought, (laughs) I thought Father Dante was sort of um, complex and and, uh, layered and had some depth to him that a lot of uh, roles that come across my table don't have. Uh, and I thought I've never been a part of a genre like this and it was so vastly different from the series I had just been on. I thought it would be a challenge and, and a gift uh, to my fans from 13 Reasons to see me in a different sort of role doing something completely different. And I, I, I stepped into it because of that. Yeah, and um, Christian, in particular, to see you go from 13 Reasons to this movie is hugely transform uh, like it's i mean it's crazy how much you have transformed from that show into this film um mm-hmm. just in all aspects and when i first started watching it right away i was like he looks familiar but i was just like into i was so invested in your character and all of a sudden i went oh my god like when it was over it popped into my brain but that's how much you kind of took away from that character into this character so you really were able to like shed that and i just congratulate you on it because it like I, I you were familiar but I wasn't sure and then at the end I, I looked it up and I went that's it that's where I know I'm from well, so you really did a great job of kind of shedding that thank you very much I appreciate you saying that um so for both of you again um what was it like working with each other and also when you're doing shows like this obviously there's a lot of supernatural stuff that has to be added in later so you look probably a little ridiculous when you're making sounds and running from things that don't exist yeah so what what were things (laughs) yeah just a little and like you know when when you're screaming with a mouth open and stuff's supposed to be coming out and you know nothing's coming out so what was it like working with each other and then what was it like working in terms of the cgi effects because you're not visually seeing it as an actor so how do you prepare to do that without feeling kind of like silly and making it. I hated it. I hated working with Christian. Good God. (laughs) Look how it's hard to look at. (laughs) I I think uh, in the role and in, and in here today, I think that uh, Jackie had been attached to the project before I came on. And um, my role was to show up and support her as it is today to show up and support her in this big W she's got. And, um, uh, I've been lucky to stumble my way into some some projects that are led by incredible women, um, and it's a point of pride for me. And so when I got the opportunity to do this, uh, uh, you know, I had you have to gain the other actors' trust, and you have to show that you can hit the ball back and forth and and do the thing with them, you know. And so it took a little bit of time to 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 ease into it, but once we did, it was um, easy. It was easy. It's interesting because Christian has a fighting background, and he's one of those actors when you. When you lay something out, it's like he comes back. It's like his, he's so quick and instinctive and it feels athletic. It feels like he's boxing that all of a sudden you're on your toes every single time you're acting with him, which I just think is so exciting. 
um, as a scene partner. Um, in terms of supernatural, nothing really was happening other than COVID. Yeah, there was no. I know that's not the the hot answer, right? Yeah. But nothing, nothing happened on set, thankfully. Oh wow! So that that's crazy. And it, so when you're dealing with all of those kind of scenes, are you you're just separated and you're just acting it out to nothing, basically? Yeah, it's oh, a little. You feel anything. silly. I mean, I I remember calling my best friend who one of the best actors I know, uh, Justin, I was telling him I had this outer bottom, out, outer body moment, out of body, out of body moment, uh, where one of the exorcism scenes were filming it and they call cut and I realized I'm like, I must look so stupid. <laughs> yeah. you know? um, but that's why I think as an actor, it's challenging to do this kind of stuff because you have to really commit 150%. Yeah. You have to go that much further uh, and believe it yourself before anyone else can believe it. And we don't have the luxury of the edit and the and the green screen and the CGI, right? So um, it was challenging, but I welcome a challenge. So I was I was excited to see how I could play in that world. Yeah, it's truly so funny. Like all of a sudden, and you take it so seriously when you're in it, and then like, and the baby's crawling up the bed and coming out of the body, and the hand comes, and you're like, ah, and you're reacting, and then, uh, but like in the moment, you're so in it, and you like see it, and you're just like, what is up with my imagination? This is a psycho thing that I do. Yeah, and then also, you know, you have that moment where you're like, I'm robbing these people blind. They pay me to do this. <laughs> you know, like it's it's uh, it's exciting. Well, you guys do such a good job. So I wanted to ask you too, you know, obviously there's tons of horror movies and there's horror movies with exorcism stuff. and But this movie is very different in terms of, I feel like the personal relationships between various characters, I don't want to give anything away, but okay. personal relationships. And then also even between the two of your characters, the relationship, the trust, the friendship, the, the what they're willing to do for each other. I think that sets this movie apart significantly and when you're watching it you feel it and you're so invested in these characters that you don't want anything to happen to either one so what was that like for you guys to try to make it I don't know if you you know intentionally try to make it that way or how you figure out how are we going to make this stand out from other films and what do we put together to make that final project you know I, I think the uh I think the script and uh, Daniel our director uh, he really, and the script, was able to cultivate a sort of um, a real humanity in this supernatural movie, right? Like, uh, the foundation of anything is the relationship, of any scene is the relationship. And so every character in this film, Colin, myself, Jackie, Nick, they're all given opportunities to uh, root themselves in real circumstances before any of the supernatural things happen, right? And always being able to touch back in with each other in that way in this kind of movie, I think gives it a different kind of pace and a different kind of intention. Yeah, and um, with Father Dante and Anne, it's, you know, that saying, like sees like. And I think that they, in this world where these people are coming because they want to be priests, they, I don't know why they're there, but those specific characters know exactly why they are there. And it's deeply personal. And I think that they can see that in each other. And I also feel like he has the tattooed neck. She has the Doc Martin shoes. Like history of their past, like their past lives are kind of evident. And it's like, I see you. I see that you've lived something outside of the church. Do you know what I mean? And that's a knowing. I think the more experience you have, the more you know about the world. And they can just bring that into their approach to exorcism. And they see that in each other. Well, you guys, like I said, do such a good job. You guys are so good in it. Um, I want to ask you, are you running out of time? So I just want to ask you, I guess, um, how would you describe the film? And then what are you most excited for fans to see? Because like I said, this is such a different film and you two are just fantastic in it. Thank you so much. Um, this film is... Uh, is a horror movie. It's fun. They're like, you're going to be scared. But beyond that, um, there's a psychological aspect to it that's going to have you thinking when you leave. And I think it's a great story. If you took all the horror out, it would be an awesome movie nonetheless. Um, the horror just m elevates it to a whole other level. Well, I think sometimes in this business, serendipity occurs. And the fact that this is releasing Halloween weekend is particularly serendipitous. And uh, it's a good time for friends and family to get together and people often do go to the movies and see the scary movie at Halloween and yeah. we're lucky to have this this uh, this weekend for us and and I think a lot of people will enjoy themselves despite the scares. Well, I want to thank you guys so much. I'm I want a second movie, so just I'm going to tell everybody I know. I want a second film because I want to see more of 
just everything. Hope you guys enjoyed listening to Jackie Byers and Christian Navarro talk about their characters and what fans can expect from the spooky horror Pray for the Devil. The film will be out starting October 28th, so check your local theater. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you're updated on all of our latest podcasts. And head over to our YouTube channel, hit subscribe, so you're updated on all of our video content.